With the team Notre Dame had in November of 1957, it would be fair to say most people thought the Irish had no chance of going into Norman, Oklahoma and knocking off the mighty Oklahoma Sooners, who had won a record 47 consecutive games and back-to-back -back national championships. It would be kind to say Notre Dame was in the middle of a mediocre period, just two and eight the year before, and losers of two in a row heading into OU as 19-point underdogs. Points would be at a premium. On the first series of the second quarter, Notre Dame put itself in position behind the passing of Bob Williams, but the Sooners' goal line stand reminded everyone their winning streak was built on more than a powerful offense. On a fourth and goal from the one, Jim Just was stopped shy of the end zone. On Notre Dame's next possession, a fake field goal from the Oklahoma 16-yard line. Williams hit Just, creating another first and goal for the Irish. But two plays later, Notre Dame was intercepted in the end zone. The game was scoreless in the fourth quarter when Notre Dame put together a drive for the ages. Climbing on the back of hard-running Nick Petrosante, the Irish drove 80 yards in 20 plays. 19 of them were runs. The lone pass play? Williams with a jump pass to Dick Royer that gained 10 yards and loosened the defense enough to help the Irish inch closer. The drive would eventually face a fourth and goal from the three-yard line when the Irish decided to bypass the field goal and go for it. Dick Lynch sprinted into the corner of the end zone for the only touchdown of the game. It was the first time the Irish had used that play around the goal line all season. Oklahoma's record-winning streak ended right there. The Irish shocked the college football world with a stunning 7-0 win. The headlines around the country may have created the latest chapter in Notre Dame's glorious history, but the real party was back in South Bend. More than 5,000 students were waiting for the team. The Irish would finish 7-3 in 1957, but the win over Oklahoma makes that one November day among the greatest in Notre Dame history.